Joining us now is Professor of Transportation <laughs> and Logistics, of Femi Sumaila. Good to see you and thanks for all your time. Thank you. Well, as I say, the golden moments of uh, our dear country mm. seem to be coming back. Yeah. But again, let's talk about better transportation now. We'll narrow it down to train uh, the rail services and see um, if we can actually get a semblance, if not even a better one, than what we see outside our shores. How is the plan of bringing back the rail service uh, in going for us as a people? Let's start uh, that way. Yeah, I, I think it's something that is unavoidable. When you are talking about urban transport, what you require is mass transit. <coughs> mm. And the best mass transit is rail. You had during uh, the report, during the report that the, the, a locomotive can move four coaches. One advantage that the rail has is that it has advantage of what we call variability in the face of a, a increasing demand. In other words, right. yeah. that coach, that, that diesel engine, can move 10 times that number of coaches. Oh. So you can attach coaches uh, to it when there is a problem. Expand as the need yes, arises. Yes, as the need arises. So mm. that is a major advantage of the rail. And I must commend the Minister of Federal Capital. If you look at the Abuja Master Plan, interestingly, when I was a student in the University of Ibadan, under Professor Mabo Guja, who was chairman of the planning committee, I was part of the Abuja Master Plan. And by 2004, the light rail the LLT and the rapid rail were supposed to have taken off in Abuja. Yeah, 2004. 2004. As far back as 2004. So what that means is that what right we behind. are seeing now mm. should have taken place 20 years ago. But we thank, we thank God mm. that it's even happening now. Yeah. I, I have been there myself personally, and I find it very interesting. In fact, what we see now is not too far from what we see in other parts of the world. Because the coaches, the... the they are more than ones, and that's, that makes me happy. Right. My only challenge mm -hmm. is maintenance. Ah. And that's a big issue in Nigeria. Not just maintaining the facility, uh, the, the uh, rolling stock, which is the coaches and the but even the facilities. As long as we can do that, it's going to save our cities a lot. Because as it is, and you can, my happy, if you look at the lots, they are taken up from the suburbs of Abuja, and that is where the people live. Mm. When you talk about the mass or masses in quotes, <laughs> that's right. where they live. And I'm glad you, <coughs> you know, touch on that because uh, critics of this project, not, they're not criticizing because uh, they're not in support of a mass uh, rail project. Yes. They're saying this project is not accessible uh, for a city like Abuja. I mean, if you live in wherever you live, you have to travel, to, you know, a distance to go to the, you know, train station. Or like in other parts of the world, you could walk 10, 10 minutes every or 10 minutes 15, every UK, 10 minutes, yeah, yeah every 10 minutes uh, to the rail station. Is there a way that we can uh, make amends? Yeah, clearly. From right. Even from the report of, right. the, uh, of, of the officer in charge, mm -hmm. they are just using two stations now, two lines and they are already covering 12 stations. So by the time we advance and get close to the number of stations, you can be sure that the accessibility will increase. So the number of stations will increase. They become more accessible to the people. So I think we are just starting. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I think gradually, if we can sustain this, we can grow with it. Let's talk about that sustainability and the maintenance that you even talk about. What will it take to ensure that, uh, you know, we not only maintain the standard, but even improve on it, yeah. maintenance-wise? Yeah, I, I think that um, what I notice generally when it comes to transport is that, and it is a Nigerian culture, or whatever it is, people will accept it. Mm. I think as a people, we have a right to speak out. So let the management place emphasis on this maintenance and let the people also complain 
about things that are not working well. If we do that, if you look at road transport, today anything goes. You see, and it is because people are not complaining. Even when you complain as a passenger in a vehicle, you see fellow passengers say, ah, don't, don't worry, relax, he's been doing it. Uh, let us just pray that we get to where we are going. Oh. The destination in transport, when you say safety in transport, it is arrival. Safety yeah. and it is arrival. Yeah. The, the, the exciting thing is that I think where we're in luck to have you here because uh, since you were a part of those who uh, were designed uh, the, the, yeah. who designed the yeah. uh, master plan. Now help us because some people haven't actually reached their destination lately. R derailment. No derailment. Because yeah. some people perhaps may have actually tampered with it. So how do we stop such? Yeah, let me say that. It has to do with management. You see, for real transport, and I will just cite very quickly the example of uh, the UK. At a point in the United uh, Kingdom, they divided the rail management into three. Yes, the operations, the, the, uh, the lines, and the overall management. What then happened was this. They gave these things out to individuals, uh, to companies to manage, you know, manage the operations, manage maintenance. But they then discover that because of the, the lines that were given out, maintenance became a problem. Because there was a disconnect between the company and the operators of the system. So for the first time in the UK for many years, they started having crashes. Government had to take it back on a quasi uh, private sector arrangement. So what it means is this. We can, you know the PPP pro uh, uh, policy Modern. is a good one. That mm -hmm. Yes. We can contract out basically the operations as it is today. I'm not even sure Nigerians are managing, the, are handling the operations. We can contract out the operations. We can uh, contract out the, ma the management, but the lines yeah. are things that we should handle because Nigerians understand the terrain. Right. Yeah, so which is very key. It concerns security. Yes, mm. it's very key, the terrain, the security. So we mm. need to handle that bit. The, re the other two can be given out from Express, from International Express. Yeah. That's a very important uh, point that you raised there, and that's assuming that uh, Nigerians are well equipped in terms of training to handle, yes, yes. Uh, you know, that aspect that you talk about. Let's uh, dwell more on uh, timelines, timeliness, promptness. You know, when it comes to real services, uh, <laughs> I mean, you just have to be on time. Yes. In Europe, whether it's in Germany or wherever, if the train says it's leaving at one minute past 11, yeah. whether it's loaded or not, it, it, moves. Moves. it moves. How are we going to avoid, or how should we avoid running our rail system like the Molwe uh, <laughs> system? Well, the, 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 the advantage the, the rail, rail transport has that makes it possible for what you are saying yeah. to happen is the fact that the lines are not many. If once you leave the stations where you have a number of lines where trains can, can move and, and, and park, once you are on the, on the highway itself, on the railway itself, you have probably have one or two lines. So if you don't leave, the one coming behind will not be able to move. That is the advantage. And that is why the timeliness is necessary. Mm -hmm. And so it is, it is arranged in such a way that if train A moves, train B gives it 10 minutes and right. it also moves. And that's why it is so. Eventually, by the time there is full operation, what we are saying can be achieved. Ah. Yes. Well, as we wait for that time, because okay. we really have to go. <laughs> but uh, someone asked here, I think that should be in Gozi. At what point are we expected uh, to have uh, the speed? Speed ah. train. Ah. From the it just goes hard. Ah. Some will say, let's. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, yeah. at professional level, mm -hmm. I don't think we can we, we can manage it for now. For now, we, really we should crawl that. before we yes, yes. run fly, or yes. fly.
Great. Professor Sumaila, thank you for your time. Thanks and so we should much. keep this uh, from yeah. time to time so that yeah. people get to know. We'll talk about road transportation and yeah. even water transportation mm -hmm. sometimes. So. Yeah. Thank you so much, thank Professor so much. of Transportation yeah. and Logistics. Thank you so thank much. You.